Hi guys! Have you ever wondered how to make the most out of your MVR recording mode? Today in this video, I'm going to unlock the secrets to achieving maximum efficiency. Because whether it's safeguarding your home or businesses, having a reliable surveillance system is crucial. And now you can visit our solution page through the link down in the description box below to uncover cutting-edge technology solution that tailored to your specific needs. So network video recorder systems are specialized devices designed to capture, store, and manage video footage from the IP cameras or other network sources. NVRs process and store digital video data, offering high resolution and advanced feature for effective video civilian. The right recording mode can influence factors such as storage capacity, image quality, and overall system performance. And whether choosing the continuous recording for comprehensive coverage or motion-based recording to conserve storage, the decision impacts the system's ability to capture critical events and ensure efficient resource utilization. Different recording modes in NVR system offer distinct advantages and trade-offs. Continuous recording ensures comprehensive coverage by capturing all activity, but it strains storage capacity and requires extensive review, which is ideal for high-security areas that require 24-7 civilian, such as entry points, parking lots, cash registers, and public spaces. Schedule recording conserves storage by capturing footage during a specific time frame, yet it might miss crucial events outside those windows, which is suitable for monitoring business hours where activity is expected and predictable, such as offices, educational institutions, locations with minimal activity during certain hours like the storage room and warehouse, to optimize storage and reducing irrelevant footage. So last but not least is the motion trigger recording. It activates the camera when motion is detected, optimizing storage usage by capturing only relevant footage, but it may occasionally miss rapid events. And it is effective for monitoring outdoor perimeter, area with higher foot traffic or frequent activity, and cameras in locations susceptible to vandalism, avoiding recording hours of uneventful footage. So in an IP camera system, you need to select the appropriate cameras that are suitable for specific civilian needs of each area. Today, we are already connected to three IP cameras at the edge. We have the PDZ camera, offer pan, tilt, and zoom capability, provide an overall civilian coverage. Next is the bullet camera, with very focal lens, allows you to manually adjust the lens and zoom in and out as needed. Last but not least, we have the turret camera with 4mm lens and giving you a border perspective and also equipped with two lighting system. And they're all connected to this A-port WebSmart PoE switch to provide PoE technology and also a plug and play feature which is easy to use. Last but not least, this is our 32-channel dual HDMI NVR, and it can provide HD video data storage and reliable central management for multiple IP cameras with real-time monitoring. So now, I'm going to show you different recording mode on the monitor. And now I'm going to show you the different recording mode on our NVR. Let's right-click it and go to the main menu. We can see the record configuration. Let's click on it. This is how you set the different recording mode. We, hand, we can choose the channel from 1 to up to 32 and even all. Let's choose channel 3 for continuous recording. This is the length of time you can divide the recording into manageable chunks and making it easier to find and review specific moments without using up too much space. So for now, I'm going to set for 60 minutes. This is channel 3. Let's hit OK. Now you can see on channel 3, the red little recording button is on and it's recording. And I'm going to give you one more tips. 
Let's go to IPC encode. Here you can find all the resolution, frame rates, speed rates, and quality. You can actually lower the quality, frame rate, and bit weight to save significant storage space. So let's adjust them. We have 720, 1080, and 5 megapixel. Just stay at 5 megapixel. And it's maximum of 24 frame rate. And actually, for 5 megapixel frame rate at 17 and 18 would be enough. So let's just hit 18. And the quality, instead of highest, I'm just going to pick higher or even high. That's it. Okay. And also, you need to position your camera strategically to cover critical areas while avoiding redundant coverage. Next, I'm going to show you, again, go to the record configuration, the schedule mode recording. Let's hit schedule for channel number two. And here, remember that we mentioned about the working hour. We can set it from 9 in the morning until 6 at the afternoon. We can pick from any day of the week or just all week and take regular, hit OK. Now you can see at channel 2, the red little button is on because now it's weekday and it's not 6 o'clock yet. So we start recording. Last but not least, we have our motion trigger. Again, go to the record record configuration and let's pick channel one for motion trigger and you can pick all day so type in 0 to 24 here we have to check the detection box and the alarm box and hit ok and it's already recording because it sends our colleague Natisha is in the monitor range and you can also see the human detection is triggered when Natisha is moving around. Hi Natisha. Here we go. And I'm going to give you some more tips on the wait over here alarm intelligent alarm. Here we have to enable all the detection before we choose the channel and here is the sensitivity you can adjust the sensitivity for ultimate results to avoid false alarm while ensuring that all relevant activity are captured let's hit just high instead of the highest and this will help reduce unnecessary recording and storage usage and hit ok and also, we do have the vehicle detection for the NVR and also our camera. And this is all about different recording mode. So to find the right balance, you can assess your civilian needs and environment. Identify critical areas for continuous recording, creating schedule for specific time period, and utilizing motion trigger recording to conserve storage. You can also integrate multiple recording modes for comprehensive coverage. And this 32 channel dual link NVR is able to equip up to 8 internal 8 TB hard disk by your choice. So additionally, here are some more tips for maximizing NVR's recording efficiency and effectiveness. First is the retention period and to decide on the duration to retain recorded footage before it automatically overwritten. Second, consider cloud storage. If available, consider integrating cloud storage to offload older or less important recording, freeing up on-premise storage for more critical footage. Last but not least, backup and redundancy. You can create a backup plan for critical recording to prevent data loss in case of hardware failure or system issues. And using the dual NICS and VR is one of the methods. And here's the referred video if you want to know more about it. And thank you very much for watching our video. I'll see you next time.